Hi everyone, Susie here from Minnesota and I garden in a zone 4B and just taking you on a, probably a quicker tour than normal. I've been having issues getting 40 minute videos to upload. Um, I've been away for a little bit, haven't given up on gardening but just kind of working on certain things that I want to and just taking a break from others. These look fantastic. They've been loving our cool weather here and rainy. So if you don't know anything about my channel right now, what I've been going through is right now for June, we've had almost a total of 20 inches of rainfall here. So it's been a lot. Containers are loving it. I haven't had to water anything. So there's a plus in that. There are some plants that are showing signs of root rot. Hydrangeas are looking great. Only thing I have noticed is chlorosis, and that is just too much rain. But otherwise, budding up nicely. I just planted these. I did not, I call them my clearance plants, but they're my seedlings, and I didn't know what to do with them. They were holding plants, but I didn't want to get rid of them, but I didn't water them in because they're talking more rain. Today, tomorrow, a break on Wednesday and then Thursday for so yeah this tree looks great love it so there's a lot of flopping I did a lot of cutbacks um, mosquitoes have been horrible so hopefully I can do this tour without being bothered by them too much um, it is windy so the sound quality is going to be horrible but it's going to be great for me for filming I'll stay away uh, this is so overgrown here because with that much rain, well, there's flopping, but I like this. That's ladies' mantle, so it's a little bit of a hot mess here. Far away, it looks pretty good up close, but um, the Sun King Auralias are massive. They are probably five feet tall. <laughs> so they're loving all of this rain. This is a well-drained area here. My hookahs look great. These were ones I started from seed two, three years ago. But yeah, like I said, need to get in here, do some cutting, but I'd really want to enjoy the flowers of the Elkamilla moss right now, just because they are so long lived. Uh, Jacob's ladder is thrown off a little here and there, but I would like to get in here and trim this up and uh, see the containers. They look really good. Last year, everything was just, last year, things looked good. You just saw the, the drought problems. Over here, looking pretty good from afar. I mean, this is gorgeous right here, don't get me wrong. This is Angel's Blush Rose Campion Lickness. I started this from seed last year, so I have a lot of it. I am just gonna try and collect seed and grow more plants because this will die this will not come back next year at least i found that out in a different area these hookahs are loving it uh, this is dianthus also one i started last year carthusian norum a taller one but like i said it's beautiful from far up but once you get in there you can start seeing all the rain issues i did remove the napita that I started from seed. I don't have these planted yet. I'm just thinking if I want to have these here. There's also a plant that I saw at a garden center that I'm not sure. But then I just, I've been having some rabbit issues. So at this point, I think they'll look good because they'll pull in the blue fescue from down there. And I love grasses. I just repeated the dianthus. And then Annabelle is looking good. A roses I gave a good prune to. Love the grasses, the Carl Forrester. They're definitely shorter here, which is nice. In another area, you'll see how tall they are. But um, a Sceptered Isle is okay for the, ro these are David Austin roses. I just, 
last year it was struggling. I feel like this year it was also struggling too. Unfortunately, like all of the Princess Alexander of Kent were blooming when we had all that rain. So I barely got to enjoy any of them because it just laid them flat. So I gave them all a really good cut and oh, it's gorgeous. So I will be going in and fertilizing them too. Maybe I'll get a second flush here. So there's a lot of open spots in here. I trim back uh, some of my daffodils, but I'm giving the roses time to grow in. This is a hardy geranium here, Max Fry or Frey. Um, so that'll fill in too at some point. Climbing roses are putting out some new growth here. I really have to rescue that one in here. And then I have been working in this area here. These are just some of my hardy geraniums that I moved, so they look a little tough. Grasses I started from seed, that's Korean feathery grass, which is amazing. I haven't had to water anything in this garden since May. I do have some Sun Kings of mine that I moved back here. Like I said, a lot of this was done early May, and then I've just been adding. And then I have not planted these. I have, yes, anemones. I'm a zone 4B. I don't have the best of luck growing anemones, but I haven't planted them because it's so wet. And then I did get a peony over here I can't see because the sun's right in the right in here again it's just sludge planting in here oh, okay so this is lark ascending just beautiful like I said and some really nice growth Nothing on this one yet. I'm pretty sure this is going to be maybe, I think maybe Gertrude Jekyll. There's some buds at the way bottom. Don't know what that's about. Nothing at the top. And then I, trying to figure out, I don't like to step in gardens where they're already compacted. But um, this one's gorgeous. These are just first year, so they're not huge. This might be Gabriel Oak or Gertrude Jekyll. And the ones that I'm super excited about are these. These are Bonica. Aren't they amazing? Look how dainty. Um, this is first year. Look at how it's loaded with blooms and buds. The same with this one here. So I have three, so they're gonna have a nice area to fill in. But look. So excited about that. Forgive my shadow. I am got a huge flannel shirt on to hopefully help with the mosquitoes. So I am really loving this area. I know there's some bare spots, but these plants will get bigger and fill in. I have to get these planted, but I'm just allowing the soil a little time to dry out. And then I had moved the leaves away too. So all in all, I'm really liking this garden. Uh, not much to show you here. Osses are looking a lot better since we had that hail damage on Memorial Day. I'm definitely flushing out with new growth. Loving the all the rain. They are one that do love it. Pucras are looking pretty good. I'm thinking I may or may not keep the grasses here. I planted them. They're a bit close. So I have a hard time throwing away plants but I also want to get plants room to grow. So it's just, it's a me issue. Um, I have been trimming up some of the goat's beard because of some of that's just gnarly. That's, that's water damage there. Otherwise they will just age to a kind of a cream green. Uh, hostas are flowering. I don't normally like to leave a lot of the flowers on, but at this point I am really working on what I want to work on in my gardens. Can you believe the sumac is showing stress of the water, of all the rain? A sumac of all things but I don't think I'm gonna keep it because at this point I don't think it looks the healthiest because look at all of that 
So I think there's more going on. And honestly, I think I paid $25 for this because it's so aggressive. I have it in a container to help with it not running all over the place, but I've been seeing some. Love this container here. Probably can't see the fennel I have in the middle. I did trim up all of the Brunera. They look a little tough. They actually look better in the drought than they do with all the rain. They look better though when I trimmed them up, I'm like, ooh, I probably should have left them. I'm here. Now you can see the fennel against the house. Right in the middle, bronze leaf fennel, a <laughs> seedling of mine. This was close to seven feet tall. This is a, just a normal goat spirit and I had to trim it because the weight of the flowers and rain bent it over to where it was laid flat. So I had to save other plants. It still looks good. I just, I love those blooms later in the season because they still add something to the garden. Uh, the Hakana clove grass looks amazing. I, I just, wow, those are only two little plants, well not little, but two plants there. I haven't had to water these containers since I planted them uh, beginning of June. Look. I, I take some vacation, so this is, I'm able to do tours a little bit later now and not have to get up so early. Looking forward to vacation. Not necessarily all gardening because um, yeah, it's gonna be raining again but I'm trying to enjoy what I can, when I can. Um, is there anything? Maybe I'll just keep an eye on the time. Ivory Halo Dogwood looks fantastic. I've had a lot of issues with plants flopping that, I've, that have never flopped before and having to stake a lot that it's just becoming a little bit of a hot mess for me. This looks really good. It's funny how this garden was a bit of an eyesore with all, it was a lot of hail down. I mean, you can see. I mean, it's, but now it's just, I still love it. Um, I've got some hostas I want to still plant back in here. I figure let's just fill it in. I've got some and just bring the eye back there. I know there's weeds and everything, but oh well. Such is life. Um, cut back my daffodils in here so I can walk through. The one thing about all of the rain is, well first, it, it pushed out all of my mulch. It was all the way to here. So that far up with all of the rain. So yes, it pushed some of the mulch out, but the slugs and earwigs, um, not so much this one. I'm trying to figure out, I think. I'm gonna try and get a lot of the planting done today with it being windy. I did spray for mosquitoes, but I don't know how well that works. Um, I'll try and find that hosta. I just wanna go over here real quick. This is a beautiful grass, but we got an inch and a half of rain. Yes, when we get rain, it was supposed to be a quarter of an inch. It was an inch and a half. And I'm like, it just, just chucks it down. Uh, this is pixie fauna tufted hair grass. It's gorgeous. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Containers are looking fantastic and filled in. I'm so happy and haven't had to water them. I watered them yesterday. I will say that after what? A month. <laughs> the elderberry lemony lace, this thing is massive. I mean, I know it does. That's why I put it here. It's a focal point and to help create shade, but I just, isn't that beautiful? And then with that marmalade hookra. And then the ferns. I'm gonna be moving some to another, a different area. Look at the little guys too. I think this is Mighty Mouse. They finally look great. So if the rain continues next year, these hosses are going to be massive. I mean, even bigger. I mean, humpback is, if I was standing behind it, you'd see how big it is. But when you 
put in comparison of the other ones. There you go. Little tiny goat's beard. This is a dwarf one. I started from seed. So cute. But if you can see, like, I don't know, maybe this isn't a good one. I don't know. But yeah, uh, earwigs are back. They've been gone for three years and now they're back with the vengeance. I love that container. Still liking this one. I don't know. I know it's a lot of green here, but I really love green. And then aren't these amazing? Remember, these, these Estilbis have been all over the place. Finally just put them back here last year as a holding spot. And look how gorgeous they're gonna be. They're not blooming yet, but they have to be about four feet tall. I think I found a spot they liked, or it's just been a great year with all of the rain. And I'm gonna say it's been that. Um, should I walk in here? I know I'm gonna stir up everything, but the honeysuckle's looking pretty good. I think it's starting to flush out again with its second bloom here. And then this is what this is why I want to come back here. This is peaches and cream honeysuckle. I'm actually gonna get blooms. I planted this last year. I mean it's it's a vigorous grower, so I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of weeding to do in there. Maybe it'll get windy enough that I can do a little bit of that, but I'm not overly concerned by that area. The Sun King is, it's looking okay. The rain, all that, well, this is a very low spot back here, so it's kind of bouncing back. Annabelle flopped a bit. I knew this one would, but still looks amazing. So, just love her. I mean, again, this is a really low spot. And if there's something you see that I haven't talked about, I'm just I'm not trying to go through it too fast, but I really want to just make sure I can upload a video without there being issues. I'm just kind of show everything. I'm not going to go to the way back garden because that's just that had about 12 inches of rain sitting back there and the mosquitoes are just horrible. Still looking good. This is Celine Sabella White. I started from seed, but the rain did smush it down a bit, but it's just, love it. Absolutely love this. There are five little plants that are in that basket. That's it. That's a huge container. I want to get this planted over here, but I do want to move this hosta. I feel like I'm going to give that the room. I think it's something hope. I forget, but I figure I'll just get those planted in here. And they, that's, this is Georgia peach. They can take the water and I'll show you because uh, the other ones are looking really great. I did have some sorrel in there and it was going to seed, so I just pulled it out. It'll be back. It'll seed all over. But I've got a good amount of room. That's pulled away, so here. Doesn't look like a big spot, but I had that just. Beautiful ladies mantis. Well, ladies mantis. <laughs> ladies mantle. Tree's looking really good. Look at this. So that's a plus big plus with all of that rain and then I'm gonna do this that's a Liguleria brat back there Brit Marie Crawford and it's massive and I love it with that purple foliage blooms are ugly but I'm growing up for the foliage party streamers hosta here I've got to get that trimmed up there but I moved this a day lily here earlier in the season this is Nosferatu and loaded with buds ouch okay one mosquito found me And then the nine barks, I was a little bit concerned. Doing okay, I have to cut this. This is a hot mess. This still looks pretty good. Anthos valerian, a seed I started like three years ago. Smells really good when it's, when it's in bloom. It smells a little off when it's out of bloom. Just letting you know. Um, 
This is Queen of Sweden. This was in the ground here where it was flooded. So I pulled it out, which was really easy and put it in a container and it looks amazing. It's not gonna stay there there. It can't because of my zone. So I have to figure out in something. This is the issue I'm having here too. The shallow rooted plants like hardy geraniums, this is what they look like. So, yeah, and that one too, they, they kind of all do. The cosmos here that I started from seed looks so nice. I do have, I, well, maybe not. This one's a little different. I think I mixed them up, but you know what, that's okay. I just can't believe how loaded in buds these are. Look, this is just one plant. And there is all of these buds on it. That might be a bit too much for that one to handle. Buds and blooms. Sabaria, Sorbifolia, Sam. It is like in the rain, but it, ouch. It, that was on my fort there. Get my face. Oh, those mosquitoes. But, um, I think it's also going out of bloom real quick because of all the rain, but it's looking good. I, I thought this was going to be a lot taller and it's not. Last year it was much taller for some reason. I don't know. I also call this kind of a clearance plant. I just planted this too with more of the Celine Sabella. They look so, I mean, they looked good. There are some issues in there, but the plants I had in here rotted. So I had to put more drainage holes in that plastic container. My niece had um, got that from a plant sale and yeah, just... I have, I had Jacob Klein in here a long time ago. I have no idea how it's made a comeback. Uh, bee balm, Monarda, so yeah, it's fine. I love it. Isn't that beautiful, incredible hydrangea? Oh, I wish I could get back there, but I'm sorry. I just, I don't want to give blood today. Clematis. Everything is really early. I and mean, we haven't been hot. I think it's just the rain, the temps, everything. It's just been consistent. And this is just a container I have down here, but um, the Dervilla here looks great with that foliage. I've been having to do a ton of staking here with all the poppies. And I don't know what I want. I love the seed heads. I'm gonna leave them. Imperial pink, that's an annual this it's just black night scabiosa it's gorgeous if you haven't grown frosted explosion grass for cut flowers i would say grow it it's it completes a container every time it's absolutely gorgeous lasts forever beautiful i'm and i think i have 10 plants in here 10 or 8 and look at how massive. This would have been beautiful in a container. And then all of my, I always draw a blank on this. Lizianthus. I was going to say Lizzie's, but yeah, that's what people call them. I do have to figure out how to stake this. That one's starting to flop. They look fantastic. Can't wait. Status is flopping a bit. Um, I'm not sure how I'm caring for some of it. It's not what I was expecting for color. There we go. It's not that I don't want to pick it. It's just I can't, I couldn't get out here. So when I can, I have to work on what I can work on. This right here, this was underwater. And look how they're, well they're doing. And then, isn't he just cute there? <laughs> I did not. I mean, he was there, but for some reason, <laughs> it works out. Poked his head through. More grasses. Astrantia is long, blooming, gorgeous. Love it. I was just, it's, oh, love, love, love this plant. I have a hard time finding it in garden centers around here. So I got this from Great Garden Plants last year. Uh, White Wands Veronica is looking horrible down there. Beautiful blooms. And then I think this is Pink Goblin, a seed of mine. And then all the weeds. But I, this baby's breath, this is a Proven Winners one, bit it, but that one is okay, I'll have to move that or weed something. And then self-seeded Veronica from a different area and I love it. 
And then this is just Italian ice, also easy rolls. Then the yarrow did flop. And then in back, that is also easy double red rolls. Probably one of my favorites. I love that. I do have to figure out how to get in there and just open it up a little bit. Grasses look great, but they are so tall. And that's just because we've had so much rain. This entire garden was underwater. Um, hey, look, my alternanthera is coming in back from the rapid damage. Kind of blends in right now. It'll pop in a little bit. Um, let's see, more damage here. Cause like I said, water was all the way up to here. And then I just planted this this year. This is Pandora, another Ligularia, which they can take a little water. So that's why I planted that. I love this. I love, love, love this. And I'm gonna like those colors there that just kind of all oh, softens it. I know I gotta get a move on. Got about 10 more minutes, but the rest there's. <sighs> so I've been really trying to keep these looking as good as I can because they're the better looking gardens. And then my cottage garden is a bit of a hot mess. And I'll let it be a hot mess. I just came out the other day and my bee balm was blooming. I'm like, when did that happen? I have not been out a lot. I, I will tell you that with not having to water and just, I got tired of walking in muck. I love that bee balm, it's a shorter one. There's some damage here, but it's so vigorous, I'm not even gonna give two hoots about that. And then this one, this is, uh, sorry, I'm just kind of looking at that's norm. They haven't even started and they're browning. We white, uh, maybe. These delphiniums, I have to try and get in here and I have them staked up, but I really wanted to enjoy some because I cut most of them back because they were just laying on everything and making it look horrible. Okay, all time favorite. This is a first year bare root rose, Litchfield Angel. Can you, I mean, it's huge. And look at all of the buds on this. So if I had to say get one, it would be this and Queen of Sweden. I mean, look at the tight form there. I just, I will say I'm in love with this rose and it's got some really sturdy stems. Like I said, first year bare root. So, Sweet pea, holy cow, did it get the memo to throw off buds here. Oh, look. Yes, it was, I thought this was gonna die because it was so wet and it was yellowing. Oh, it's gonna be purple, most of it, all of it. I don't know, I'm so happy. I just planted this with more my clearance plants. So pretty because this one, I just planted that yesterday. No, two days ago, not planted up, planted. And then that one I had planted since May and that's gorgeous. Haven't done anything with it. I haven't cut it back. So that's why I'm like, these flanking the path here will be perfect. Oh, I just want to show you real quick. Yeah, this is what happens when you film later in the, it's still morning. Um, looking good. These are all a seed daily as a mine. This one is so prolific. Uh, can you see all of the buds on this one? That's just one plant in here. I just, I do one plant in for daily. Oh, hey, this one's perking up a little bit. I've had to let it dry out because I haven't watered it, but it was so wet in there. And it's a really pretty one and hmm, okay. It was looked really horrible yesterday. It's not gonna look great here soon because the sun beating off the siding makes it look, or makes it wilt pretty good. 
Look at the cosmos. This must be apricotta because it's got like a terracotta color in there. I know it's horrible lighting. I'm very sorry. Zinnias are looking great. I just kind of move containers when I want to cut things, cut things, plants. Um, these are more of my seeds. I started dahlias. I love it. This one is very bright. Um, all right, more grasses. The rows are really cut back, which is good. It'll be fine. There is wilting and damage, especially on the one that was rebounding. So, um, Veronica, this is a sightseeing mixture. Love the purple, it's the most vigorous, and I mean, uh, it's just gorgeous. With the fizzy white cosmos, and I just used some res red twig dogwoods to stake it up because it was flopping, and I think the white with the purple is gorgeous. This is a petunia I started from seed. Opera Supreme Lilac Ice, and it looks amazing. I, I don't think this is even in a full sun situation anymore with all these plants, and it is gorgeous. And I haven't watered it once. So these grasses are, okay, they're probably about five and a half feet tall, because that's my height. The delphiniums were all laying on it, crushed it, so I just had to chop the delphiniums because I love the grasses. These will last the whole season and they're, I mean, gorgeous. Uh, this is sad because um, this is normally about another two feet taller than this. This is a baptisia and it is just this, instead of getting lush and huge with all the rain, it actually got stunted. So it's still alive. So we'll just leave it at that. Peony still looks good. I'm not seeing any rot there. I hacked this delphinium to the ground. I mean, maybe not all the way to the ground, but, and then it flushed out. <laughs> not peony, delphinium. Did I say? Oh, I might've. It is definitely gonna be the year of the hydrangeas for sure. So this one has probably put on three feet of height. This is super cute. That's just self-seeded calamantha, purple and white, in the rock, and I left it. And look how amazing with my baby's breath. And there I started from seed last year, and then I just put two um, Walti Matilda, Walti Matilda, there, sorry, there is a mosquito. Oh, I got him. Um, Adelia. Oh, but his friend got revenge. Ouch. Pensament is a hot mess. Look. And these are all annual Rubecchias. Sahara mix and caramel mix. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, 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 love it. I gotta get a move on. I just, I might just have to do blooms here in a video. Um, this is huge. This is Starry Story Night, Party Hibiscus. I'm losing my path. I just wanted to go back here. Uh, climbing beans are doing good. My cucumbers are good, eh. But those are starts I got from Eureka, from a garden center, awesome. I have to burn this. But this is another daily of mine. Love it. And then more bronze leaf fennel with the sun coming through, and it's gorgeous. And then I'm loving the cosmos and that ferny foliage. I mean, look at that. Love it. I do have to try and stake that though with more rain coming. Oh, it's just. So, probably should have done this in two parts, but I just wanted to make an entire video. Walking through here is getting to be a little tricky because of everything and the lush growth. I love this view right here. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed and bye for now.